So I had a bunch of these ESP32 camera units, which are, I think are pretty widely available and they can easily be had for less than the $10 mark. They're a great little unit. They don't have as many exposed IO pins as the dev kit, which I use more commonly, but that's only because most of those pins are being used for the OV2640 camera CCD and that built-in SD card slot. Um, now a lot of the tutorials on this guy, they're based around having it streaming an image or recording to the SD card now I think SD cards are great, but I don't really like fiddling around with them, taking them in and out. And Why should I when this guy's got Wi-Fi built right in there and I can store things directly to my PC on the same network. So my plan is to have a few of these set up with a central machine collecting images from them periodically. A Python script on the server will send an HTTP GET request to one of the ESP32 cams and uh, then as quickly as possible uh, in this case, a third of a second, re request another. The Python script will compare the two images for differences, and if the differences are large enough, it will save both images and continue. Simple as that, no need for PIR motion sensors or any additional electronics. First thing we need to do is to upload our code to the ESP32 cam. If you haven't played with one of these guys yet, then there's one little catch. They don't have their own USB to UART converter built in, so we'll have to use one of these little separate FTDI boards. Now it doesn't have to be one of these guys. Uh, any USB UART converter should do it. We connect five volt to five volt, ground to ground, our TX to RX and vice versa. Uh, finally, you've got to set the ESP32 into flash mode. To do that, you connect the input output zero, IO zero to ground. And then you reset the unit by unplugging and replugging. Or if you can reach that little button underneath, Give him a push. Now your ESP is in flash mode and you can upload the code. The code I'm using is linked in the description. Uh, the only change you should need to make to the code is the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Uh, make that your own ones, not mine. Uh, in the Arduino IDE, you need to make sure you've gone to boards, the board manager, and download the Espressif ESP32 board definitions. Choose as your current board the ESP32 dev module. I've had some trouble with um, these guys, um, just random things like the f upload failing or resetting, failing to see the camera. And what seems to fix it for me is setting the flash frequency to 40 megahertz. If you have any issues, just keep that in mind, but if not, keep it up on 80 and find the correct port and upload. Once it's uploaded successfully, you can remove your wire from GPIO0 to ground and reset the ESP32 again into normal mode. Open the serial monitor, and if all is well, the ESP32 will connect to your Wi-Fi and it'll let you know what its IP address is right here. Take that IP address and stick it in the address bar of your web browser. You get this landing page, which gives you a few different extensions you can use. Main one we're gonna use is this one, forge slash JPG, which will give us an image. But you've also got these ones here, on, off, and LED on, off. I've plugged those into one of the GPIOs, just in case I need it later. And the other one is hooked up to the bright flash LED built in on pin four. So we can turn that on and off by just using that extension, the IP address forward slash LED on or LED off. But for now, we want to grab an image, so grab that JPG extension, put it on the end there, and there we've got a picture. Update it by hitting refresh, and refresh, and there we go. So, I instantly got bored of looking at still frames, and of course the next thing I did was write a Python script to grab an image every X number of seconds, so I can stitch them together later as a time lapse. But that got dull quickly, and now since I'd set one of these cameras up watching my front door, it's now filling up hard drives with still images, I knew I'd have to come up with something a bit more efficient. So I rewrote the code, um, and now what it does is it takes the images, and like we spoke about originally, it compares it to the previous image, and if the, um, the difference crosses my arbitrarily decided on threshold, it stores the images with a timestamp so I can check later and see who's been loitering. Not an amazing or mind-blowingly rare feature for a security camera, but for an eight buck IP camera, it's not too shabby at all. So for a bit of fun, I thought I'd stick one of these in the roof 
And um, for a few nights, nothing really happened. And it's fine because, of course, it wasn't wasting any hard drive space, just a, a small bit of electricity. And I was checking it every morning. Um, after about three or four days, I saw this little guy running around and I thought that was quite cute. Uh, but then this happened. Um, now, if you'll excuse me, it's uh, time to go and nuke this house from orbit. Burn it to the ground. Cleanse it with fire. Thanks for watching this Real Robots video. The codes all linked below.